I guess it wants me to hit the snooze, huh? I want to get up. <laughs> Rise and shine, baby. Get out of bed. sleep with that sheet on. Who did not sleep with that sheet on? The only time I don't sleep with that sheet is when I pass out. Well, maybe she did. She passed out and the music's still going. There we go, let's get up. I am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. It looks like we got a couple of uh, emails too. Email. Let's check the email. Chol, what do you got to say? See what mom has to say. Oh, uh, you worried about my plan? Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Alright, let's take a shower. We can leave some photos here. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game, and a great man. Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. So does the Fremont Troll really exist, or is that just in this game? Let's water that plant. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Uh oh, that action's gonna have consequences. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Uh oh, I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Don't need to. We got a cell phone nowadays. People don't use watches anymore. Check it out. Do you see a watch there? No. Do you see a watch here? No. It's because people don't wear watches. Courtney, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Oh, yeah, Sherry? of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. 
Hey, 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 don't shut the door on me. Let me borrow some clothes. Fine, I won't disturb you. Open the door. Fine, I won't disturb you. I'm not going you. anywhere. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Where's the bathrooms at? No brook here. Okay. What do you gotta say? Ow! Where did that come from? Who threw that? One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, yeah. now that was close. Thank you, Max. That's twice now. Two times. You got that? You owe me two. Who is in here throwing things? Come on, let me in the bathroom. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. There's the showers. Let's see what's happening in the all girl shower scene. Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but, but. Whatever. It's done. Rare. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Out of order. Hello, anybody in here? Is there anything else to do in here? Let's see what that says. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. That's because the flu shot is a scam. It's really the government that's uh, gonna inject you with the tracking device. So don't ever get flu shots, kids. What's going on, Focus Chris? Here's your shower scene, boys. Do it. Do it, bash your skull in. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Hey. 
Yeah, hang out with me. I'm in the shower. You'll have a good time. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I Don't hate, hate that. I'm so quirky. I crap. can make you famous. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> what did you write there, you little slut? You don't know that I was taking a shower. And for some reason I changed back into my dirty pajamas. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Wonderful. Otter power? I'm so not there. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. We should use it again. Use it again. Rachel's a whore. What are you doing? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. I do not like her. I don't know what her problem is, but I do not like her. How about you? Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Excuse Ooh. me, I'm texting Zach. Oh my god. I'm, like, texting Zach. Like, do you have a salad with, like, pears in it? I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, oh, I thought that I guess. was her pole to pole dance for a Trevor minute. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Oh, maybe you should invite me to go. Oh, who are you? Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Me too. 
I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, yeah, Max. Yeah, don't let it pass so, you by, Max. are you coming to the party or not? Yes. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Oh, contraceptive pills, mm. huh? Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. I gotta say, they did a good job with mirrors in this game. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Go away! People's... Clearly not a morning person. People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Get up. Clearly, Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. Don't I need to get some clothes on? Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. All right. Can I put some clothes on? Thank you. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Looks good to me. But you got that little deer shirt on. Hold up. I need to find the book before going to see Kate. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. There we go. Oh. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. But she just Aha, moved it to a different booger. spot. You're mine. You should clean it up. Go put, put now it I can out. Finally take this back put to it Kate up. You're not going to be a domestic goddess. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Mrs. Hoyda is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Uh oh. Let's see what it says. Okay, Zach. You can't fool me. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. 
But it... I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. No need to go there now. Where do I need to go, then? Let's go. I didn't like this. Let's change this. Can I change that? I can't change that. What about here? No brook here. Oh, I need to find Kate. That's what I need to do. Fine, I won't disturb you. There we go. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Oh, we hope you haven't brought shame on you or your or our family. Yeah, that's what those religious nuts like to do. They like to try to shame people. Oh Kate no. used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. What else we got? Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. I doubt that. It's all she's shown me is that she's a, a woohoo, boohoo, crybaby. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. <laughs> That's Kate on the far right, in case you uh, didn't realize who she it's was. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Okay, well, let's speak to her, see what's going on. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? Blah, blah, blah. I got a photo. I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. You thought he so was different? So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Yeah, I Basically, video, I went yeah. to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And Bill Cosby I have no give you the drink? of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a Where? sip of church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and 
Right. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what oh, to do. Oh, stop Kate, worrying about the church. We'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please yeah. be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Uh, we'll tell her to go. You know why? Because it's not going to be us snitching. I wouldn't normally advocate it. But she seems to want to go. Let her go. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. 
I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Okay. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Why are all the girls so Max, on this show so can I dirty? Ask you a question? Just leaving all their clothes. And please be honest. Around. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Yeah, it's a pigsty for me too. Looks like she's suffering from depression. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. I bet not. Cause that bunny doesn't need to be in no cage. Prisoner. That's what it's going to be titled. Prisoner. Ouch. She left out amnation. Man, see, that's what I'm saying. You don't need those judgy church people. 
That's crap that they would sit there and do no that. I have no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't because look at herself. Because she's ashamed. No. She's on Girls Gone Wild. What do you expect? She shamed the family and she's got those religious people shaming her. Oh, let's see what's going on in the journal. Thank you, no emoji. Let's go, let's roll out. Do, do, do. Roll out. Do, do, do. I don't know why nobody else will talk about, about Kate or what's going on with her. The birds are flocking around Samuel. This dude, what are you, the janitor pimp? Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. Is he up I early? the animals waking up with me. Or did he not go to sleep after burying the bottle, the body? So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Why do you talk about yourself That's one the thing I person? truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. That's because you're just trying See to get later. a nut. Of course you will. <laughs> What else we got around here? Oh. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? What are you gonna hate on football? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Take a video of it. Yes. There we go. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Yeah. Now nah, I captured your soul. I captured your squirrel soul. Full exposure. I definitely won't play with this thing again. Why not? I had fun with it the first time. I can see that Samuel's concerned. How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Because he buried her body. Samuel's a creepy guy. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? 
That's his porno collection. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. And let's take that axe. I could use an axe. Okay, so I gotta chop somebody's head off. And then we can rewind and watch it go back onto the body. Hey, baby. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, biatch. Max, get over here. What's up, Warren? Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Nah, I'm not gonna go because it's weak. No, I don't wanna see Planet of the Apes, especially not a goddamn marathon. Think of something better next time. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. Oh, I have to see if Brooke wants to go into the drive-in, Max. Maybe I'll see you later. Alright, you want to be like that? Later. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Really a school bus? I thought she was in college. Who is this? No, that's not the driver. That is not the driver. 
That dude's got a fade and that driver was wearing a cap. Not the driver, get off the bus. Off the bus. Life is strange, it's nothing but a dream to see Another day that passes on the clock And I just keep on having these crazy thoughts About somebody jumping off the roof Trying to be so aloof I can't sing It's just a normal everyday type thing Just watch it on this TV screen on Twitch Trying to avoid the answers so we ain't gonna be no snitch And Zachary Taylor's got a gun so run baby run Zachary Taylor's got the gun Don't <laughs> uh, try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No Sucks time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. You can't have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, good I luck. sure need yeah, it. I need it. Save our city. What do you got to say, Mr. Fisherman? Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Neptune's beard, really? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott yeah, Bay. Yeah, we're gonna take them that down. That tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. That's a good I hear tip. the fish calling for Bali High. Never so forget for that old fishermen dealers, never die. When the go legit. Smell that way. Make I'd sure love to learn more, donate. but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Look at all these flyers. 
It's so sad that nobody will read them. What do you gotta say? All right, let's go in and get something to eat. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging. Some of that brings back memories. Yeah, we're going to the Halloween the parade. Bizarre. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets <laughs> in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am Let's a camera. A you crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Justin is such a mellow dude. Let's talk later when I'm not so hot. Yeah, mama cooked me up something good. Ready to get my grub on. Shake the money maker. And there no, she no, you, is, a lovely you young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Hmm. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, That's like you right. still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It's very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. It surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now sure. my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. Show him the photo. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And 
I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all Man, the students at Blackwell. He was fighting for Exxon and Mobile. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? Yesterday, I took a picture of him fighting with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? The last good no Belgian bacon, waffle please. I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. I'm not gonna do bacon. I would have done the omelet, but no bacon. Hold the bacon. Let's drink the coffee. That would be awesome. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. That's not bad prices. Maybe I could go there to eat. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Order ready. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming! I'm gonna pause the broadcast for just a minute. From here, I'll be right Max. back. I'm gonna make a cup here, of coffee. You'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Yeah, baby. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. <laughs> uh, Sergeant Pepper. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Shake it for me, baby. Let's see what you got. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Let's see. A gun? I left it in the car. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, <laughs> psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. 
Let's rewind. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was Jeez. beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Let's try it again one last time. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too but, easy. I yeah. need details. Describe my keychain. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Ah, uh, again? That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Keychain was like a black teddy bear. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, seven cigarettes. A panda keychain. Eighty six cents. A warning ticket. Ten thirty four AM. Twin Peaks. S. E. Franklin, Southeast Franklin Street. Interesting. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish <laughs> luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. Yeah. And what? Let me see how we did. I'm now assholes. what? I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. Don't fuck with me. Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. That was a I'm week. freaking out about what just happened. 80s reference. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. Was that Duran Duran? 
I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to 